Now in Good Morning Northwest, bracing for protests in New York. How the city is preparing for this week's unprecedented events of former President Trump's arrest and court appearance. We have a weather alert day for some of our area south of I-90, and we'll tell you how long that's going to last. It's all coming up. And are you desperate for a job? Well, scammers are targeting you. How a local woman found out an online job she was taking was actually trying to take her. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks for being with us. I'm Robin Nance. And I'm Derek Dice. It is Monday, April the 3rd. A lot of us waking up to snow this morning. Ooh. Mark Peterson here, though, with that first alert forecast. And if it's going to stick, really. It's probably not going to stick. In fact, we have wet roads. We don't have a lot of winter driving down into the Palouse. We're seeing some and 31 is our current condition. And we do have some light snow in the area, but we haven't added to those roads. We do have a weather alert day today for light snow into the Palouse and south of Spokane. 195 certainly as you get into uh, areas around Pullman, you're seeing more of it. And of course, that's going to be just this morning. We look at the four things you need to know. Yeah, morning light snow, we've been living that. It, again, not sticking on most of the roadways, but just use caution. Uh, afternoon rain showers are a possibility. It's going to be warming up this week. We could have temperatures uh, around 60 degrees coming up this next weekend. Forecast radar shows this moving out and still tracking through the Palouse. And then we see the afternoon rain showers fire up, but we're not expecting much out of that. Still mountain snows into North Idaho. So we look at what we can expect over the next 12 hours. Um, it's going to be cloudy conditions, a sunbreak or two this afternoon. And our high today again. 47 degrees, all of this below average for a while. All right, Mark, thank you. Well, this morning, security is high in New York City ahead of Donald Trump's arrival. In just hours, the former president is expected to land in New York a day ahead of his historic arraignment. Sydney Charles is live at the breaking now desk with our details. That's right, Robin, Derek, a live look at the Trump Tower this morning ahead of Donald Trump's arrival. You can see metal barriers surrounding the tower right there, and there's also more barriers at the criminal court building in lower Manhattan with the NYPD bracing for possible protest. Donald Trump is the first former president to face criminal charges. Sources tell ABC Trump is facing around two dozen charges, including felonies. We won't know what they are until the indictment is unsealed. But prosecutors had been investigating how Trump accounted for hush money payments to Stormy Daniels weeks before the 2016 election. He's gearing up for a, a battle. Um, you know, this is something that obviously we believe is a political persecution. We're ready for this fight. And, and I look forward to moving this thing along as quickly as possible to exonerate him. Whatever charges the grand jurors might decide on, they might not be the only ones Trump faces, since there are other federal and state criminal investigations into possible election tampering, the January 6th insurrection, and his handling of classified documents. Trump is expected to arrive in New York sometime this afternoon and spend the night in his Fifth Avenue apartment before he's driven to his arraignment. Once inside, he'll be processed but not handcuffed and walked along the 15th floor corridor into a courtroom where his attorney said he'll plead not guilty. After the arraignment, Trump will reportedly leave the town and has announced plans to speak for Mar-a-Lago tomorrow evening. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. The Kootenai County Sheriff's Office has not yet released the name of the person who died in a crash in Post Falls Saturday night. Happened right off of I-90 near Greens Ferry Road. The Sheriff's Office says this crash happened while Idaho State Police was chasing a stolen vehicle. One person inside the car died at the scene. Another was taken to the hospital. And this is still a developing story, and we'll update you as we learn more. Well, a woman was killed when she was hit and dragged by a car at a Safeway in Liberty Lake. The Liberty Lake police are investigating this crash, but say they don't know if drugs or alcohol played a factor. Investigators say it does not appear the driver was speeding. We'll continue to update you on this story as we learn more. Fake check scams are threatening local job seekers. Now, remote job opportunities have been on the rise because of the pandemic. And scammers are targeting people in desperate need of jobs by sending fake checks. Living with her husband and 15-year-old grandson, Mary Vanderveer, was desperate to find a job to deal with the burden of high rent. She applied for a remote job online and immediately got an offer without an interview. She received a $1,900 check through email to purchase office equipment. Then I was asked once I get it and print it, make sure I cut it out properly, endorse it, and before I deposit it, send them a picture front and back. That's when my head went, oh, no, wait a minute. No, 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 no. 
She checked the local bank to see if the check was genuine and quickly learned it was a fake. New America Credit Union's regional director says sending checks through email is rare and they should be sent electronically or physically. She's, or he says customers should check the font, the boldness of the letters and the memo line, contact a local bank first before signing a check and making a deposit. And again, mm -hmm. thankfully, the red flags went off for her. Yep. Just always think if it seems too good to be true, it most likely is. Yeah, yeah, good job on her. It is now six minutes after six. All right, let's send things back to Mark Peterson. And uh, it's April 3rd, and yet here we are dealing with snow still. Light snow again, mainly south of I-90. Temperatures are hovering around freezing. Roads are in pretty good shape. But yeah, we got some changes in that forecast. We're going to have more coming up. Another masking requirement in Washington is now over. Coming up, what Spokane Regional Health has to say about the mask order lifting for hospitals and clinics across the state. Stream 4 News now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 26 years strong! Is your dog pulling you on walks, behaving poorly, or not listening to your commands? Unleash Academy will resolve your dog's aggression, leash pulling, and reactivity. Their trained behaviorists will teach you and your dog to have a relaxed relationship you can be proud of. Call today. Get pampered, relax, invigorate, and rejuvenate. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa's new North Spokane location is a full-service salon that specializes in achieving this every day. Guests enjoy a complimentary drink with all services, including hair, nails, spa, microblading, full bridal, and more. Our 10,000 square foot spa, one of the largest in the Northwest, accommodates large groups and walk-ins are welcome too. Seven Wonders Nail Hair and Spa, a luxury experience accommodating everyone. At Gold Seal Plumbing, we're always looking at better ways to solve plumbing issues in your home. That's why we use the latest technology in sewer line repair called trenchless sewer repair. We can replace your current sewer line without digging up your entire yard. With just a couple of holes in the ground, we can pull new sewer pipe from the main line right into your house with minimal disruption to your lawn and your wallet. So if you need your sewer line repaired or replaced, call the best. Call Gold Seal Plumbing. We're on our way. Built for times like these. Clear thinking, expertise, and smart solutions have sustained us for more than 120 years. Washington Trust Bank has the strength and wisdom needed for times like these. We prepare for the unexpected, and we're just a phone call away. To find a personal banker or learn more about Washington Trust, visit watrust.com slash financial partner. Washington Trust Bank, member FDIC. Okay, I'm circling the Lookout Pass ski area, and uh, wait, I'm seeing a second peak with skiers and a lift on it. And whoa, it's huge. Confirmed. Lookout opened Eagle Peak just months ago. Looks like 500 new acres of terrain with 14 intermediate and advanced runs. And it has its own quad chairlift? Nice. Think I'll set this thing down and make some powder laps. That's, uh, that's not advised, sir. Gotta ski Eagle Peak. Buy a 23-24 season pass and ski free for the rest of the season. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. All right, welcome back. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. More funerals connected to last week's shooting at that Christian school in Nashville are set for this week as officials continue to debate how best to protect our students. In recent years, many schools have seen an increase in active shooter drills, lockdowns, and fortified buildings and doors. Mass shootings have also helped fuel a multi-billion dollar school security industry, ranging from high-tech surveillance systems to weapon scanners and handheld panic devices that immediately alert law enforcement and initiate lockdowns. Many lawmakers in D.C. are refusing to call for more firearms restrictions, proposing other ideas such as requir requiring two armed guards at every school. A woman has been detained in connection with an explosion Sunday in St. Petersburg that killed a prominent Russian military blogger and wounded 32 other people. According to Russian state media, the blast that killed Vladlin Tatarsky appeared to be a brazen attack on a high-profile pro-Kremlin figure. Tatarsky died when the explosion tore through the cafe where he was speaking. At least 10 people are in serious condition.
French government minister Marlene Schiappa has come under fire for appearing on the front cover of Playboy magazine. Schiappa, who has been a government minister since 2017, appeared on the cover of the magazine wearing a white dress to accompany a 12-page interview she did on women's rights, abortion rights, and LGBTQ rights. Schiappa responded to her critics in a tweet on Saturday saying, defending the right of women to have control of their bodies. That's everywhere and all the time. In France, women are free. In our 10 second takeaway this morning, uh, the morning flurries continue. We're gonna see those uh, more numerous south of us. Cloud cover this afternoon, so light winter gear not out of the question at all. And 47 will be our high today. Avista has filed a request to raise rates. If it's approved by the Washington Utilities and Transportation Commission, the average household would see that monthly bill go up about $5.60. Avista says 2022 saw an increase in customer usage uh, during the above average high temperatures in the summer months and below normal cold temps in the winter. All right, good morning, Northwest time is now 6-11. Masking up at Washington healthcare facilities will no longer be required. Just ahead, Destiny Richards is in studio with us with what you need to know about the change. And as we send you off to a commercial break, here's a live look at Highway 195 just north of Spangle where that snow is definitely sticky. Ooh, Happy Monday morning, everyone. <laughs> we'll be right back. The color of lilac is often used for the region, a hue between red and blue, but we think it's the color of the huckleberry that is the most special to the Inland Northwest. Just look for the purple, now at Rosars. For over 25 years, Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet in Post Falls has been your choice for the best in floor covering for your home or business. Let Fairway Floor's professional design staff help choose your favorite floor from major brands such as Shaw, Mohawk, Mannington, and Armstrong. From remodels to new construction, let Fairway Floor help you dream it, design it, live it. Fairway Floor Abbey Carpet, North Idaho's premier flooring store. Come in and see it for yourself. Hello, I'm Lloyd Herman. If you need legal assistance due to an accident or an injury, put my 40 years of experience of dealing with the insurance companies to work for you. You'll have an appointment to speak to me within 48 hours. Lloyd Herman & Associates, 922-6600. I'm Jonah, and I'd like to welcome you to the brand new Coeur d'Alene Nissan. You'll find the grand dealership lobby open, comfortable, and relaxing. A service center with state-of-the-art equipment committed to getting you quickly and safely back on the road. There's much more to experience. I'm inviting you to stop in and see us. We're just off Highway 95 in Coeur d'Alene. means weather that could be a threat to your family's safety. The First Alert Weather Team pinpoints the most impactful and dangerous days, warning you early, on air and online. Weather Alert Days, another way we're keeping you safe on 4 News Now. If it seems each Rosars is a little different and unique, it's because they are. Rooted in the Northwest since 1934. And launching the first supermarket in the region. We've grown organically. With each neighborhood store, we added Scratch Bakery, Service Deli, Service Meat, local produce. Then we were the first in the Inland Northwest to offer an organic and natural market, Huckleberries. And now we've brought Huckleberries and our experts to each neighborhood Rosars. Like Lincoln Heights, Five Mile, The Y, and more. It's our people that make the difference at your local neighborhood Rosars. Along with Huckleberries, naturally the best. Just look for the purple. Four News Now is brought to you by Move Fitness. Sign up for breaking news alerts with the Four News Now app. Welcome back. Starting today, masking will no longer be required in healthcare settings, long-term care facilities, and adult 
correctional facilities in Washington. But even though the Secretary of Health's mask order is ending, the COVID-19 pandemic isn't considered over just yet. Destiny Richards is in studio with what our local health leaders are saying about this new stage in the COVID-19 guidance. The Washington Department of Health is no longer requiring masks. However, wearing them is still recommended in healthcare settings. I spoke with Spokane Regional Health Officer Dr. Francisco Velazquez. He says the mask order ending just means we're at a new stage in the pandemic where universal mask order is no longer needed. Health providers can now make that decision for individuals or collectively if they're part of a healthcare system. Overall, he says COVID transmission is low, flu and RC case rates have dropped, and we've made progress in containing the viruses. This is a reflection of that evolution, and uh, we will continue to follow that. We continue to recommend, obviously, that everyone is aware of their risk as well as the risk for those around them. And I do know our healthcare providers are, will be doing the same and are doing the same. Providence has released an updated masking policy for its hospitals and clinics, and MultiCare is expected to release a statement about the mask order sometime today. What changes you can expect at Providence facilities coming up later this hour. Reporting in the studio, Destiny Richards, 4 News Now. Breaking news overnight, at least 32 people are now confirmed dead in severe storms and tornadoes across 11 states. And more severe weather is on the way. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the details. The latest round of severe weather dropped hail the size of golf balls in North Texas, where tornado warnings were issued in the Dallas area. Parts of the South have little time to prepare for the next round of storms, with more tornadoes possible tomorrow from Dallas to Chicago, including Little Rock, Arkansas, in the bullseye once again. And when you see that threat ma map, it is startling just where it's going to happen again. And the threat area includes Chicago, much of northern Illinois, back through Kansas City, St. Louis, you're in there too, Memphis, back through Little Hard Hit, Little Rock, and these will come at night, making them even more dangerous. This video shows a powerful tornado tearing through Little Rock over the weekend. Before and after satellite images show where the twister carved its path of destruction. At least 59 tornadoes tore across 11 states on Friday and Saturday, killing at least 32 people. In Illinois, friends and family gathered to honor Frederick Livingston Jr. He died after the roof of this theater collapsed during a concert. <laughs> Me since I was two years old. Five people remain in critical condition. Meanwhile, on the East Coast, one person was killed in Delaware after a tornado destroyed this home. In New Jersey, this doorbell camera captured one of four twisters to hit the state. I was traumatized. I was petrified. I don't know what to expect. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York. Oh, some scary stuff there. Mm -hmm. All right, you are taking a live look right now at the snowy conditions south of Spokane. This is off of Highway 195, just north of Spangle. Oh, how about that? That's, uh, that, <laughs> just, we're not, we're over it. All right, springtime, <clears throat> we, I, I do want to point out the grapple that we yeah. had over the weekend. Yeah. Literally groppled out Saturday's baseball game at WSU. <laughs> I saw the, the stuff coming out of the athletic department on Twitter. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right, so here, fairly unbelievable in the fact that our passes are in much better shape than 195 South heading into the Palouse. So, again, driving up 4th of July Pass, Lookout Pass right now, looking pretty good. They'll get more as we go on. We do have a weather alert day, light snow for this morning. And, of course, into the Palouse with good reason. Um, in fact, if we could show that picture again, this gives you an idea of what you're going to be facing when you head out. We do have the snow. It's heavier. We're going to see anywhere from 1 to 3 inches of snow. But we will see a continuation of higher elevation snow adding to that. Roads, not horrible, but you got to slow down. We're going to see it uh, really as a mountain event over the next day or two after this thing sort of mellows out mid-morning. Um, 47 degrees again, the morning smoke, afternoon rain shower potential, and that's going to happen 2, 3 o'clock tonight. It's going to dry out 28 degrees with isolated flurries, so we're not expecting a winter event here. We look at the Pacific Northwest all the way down through Oregon, and we're going to see coming into the blues, and as you travel in through um, some of the passes, Baker, they're going to see some heavier snows there. We've got that snow that's tracking south, and that's why it's going to continue to add to 195 as it continues to make its way out in our forecast radar. It's then this afternoon we see this these uh, 
Scattered showers really fire up more numerous in around the Tri-Cities through Moses Lake, but Eastern Washington, North Idaho, scattered showers, higher elevation, scattered snow showers above 3,000 feet. Today's highs into the upper 40s. It's not going to be a horrible day. We don't have a lot of wind associated with these cooler temperatures, but certainly we do have the snow south, and that will continue throughout the morning hours. We look at our planning forecast. We're planning on warmer weather. Go ahead and make plans and see what God does. But 46 Tuesday, it is going to be Wednesday sunny and 49. Then we're into the mid-50s by Friday. Increased chances of rain, 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 not snow. <laughs> Even in the overnight hours, temperatures into the mid-40s. We'll see low 60s Saturday and Sunday. Gets much better oh, for the weekend. It does improve. It's, and it's so nice to have a light at the end of the tunnel, though. Like, yeah. yeah somebody but is it another to. train? <laughs> oh, stop it. No. Stop. <laughs> it's now 621. The Mariners were trying to salvage the final game with our series with Cleveland, but the Guardians had other ideas. Yep, and the LSU Tigers are the queens of college basketball, topping the century mark in a win over Iowa. We'll bring you the highlights of the game coming up next in sports. Thanks so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest here on your Monday morning. We'll be right back. Download the 4 News Now app today. I went to the other car wash, and that place scratched my car. They also have dirt patches. I go to Car Wash Plaza. Their state-of-the-art touchless is best for my car's finish. It's a complete wash that's even guaranteed. Plus, unlike those other guys, Car Wash Plaza is open 24-7 with plenty of lights and security cameras, so it fits your schedule. Go to carwashplaza.com for the nearest location. Car Wash Plaza, it's the best in the Northwest. Performance. It's what powers the 2023 family of Mazda CUVs with standard iActive all-wheel drive and an available turbo engine. Helping you take performance further. With effortless power and the reliability of iActive all-wheel drive, Mazda CUVs are built for the Pacific Northwest. Take a test drive today at Foothills Mazda or shop now at SpokaneMazda.com. Life, it doesn't stand still and neither do you. And wherever you go, we're with you. We're Global Credit Union, formerly Alaska USA, for 75 years, enriching the lives of members and guiding them on their financial journeys, giving them the confidence to not just follow their dreams, but to chase them. The future? We're on it. Let's get there together. Global Credit Union. On we go. It's the spring perennial sale at Ritter's Garden and Gift. 20% off all perennials. Flowers, foliage plants, grasses, and more. It's our best perennial sale of the year. While you're here, explore acres of plants and greenhouses full of blooms. Shop exquisite sculptures and plant containers. Discover tempting gift ideas, too. Live life beautifully. Ritter's Garden and Gift on North Division. window and door we've got everything you need whether you're building a new home or replacing windows and doors in your current home visit us online at nwwindow.com to set up an appointment with a friendly knowledgeable salesperson Good morning and welcome back. It's now 624. The LSU Tigers are now national champs in women's basketball, beating Iowa 102 to 85. The Tigers not only won their first national title in school history, but also set a new record for most points scored in a women's championship game. It was a barrage of threes in the first half. First, it's Iowa star Caitlin Clark from way downtown. Jasmine Carson just as hot for the Tigers, though. The final seconds of the first half, Carson just kind of throws it up and it banks in at the buzzer as LSU heads in the locker room with a commanding 17-point lead. But the Hawkeyes come out firing in the second half, hitting multiple shots from deep. Clark led all scores with 30 points in the game, setting a new record for most points scored in a women's tournament with 191. But the Tigers were just too much offensively as Kim Mulkey becomes the first women's coach to win national championships at two different schools. She won three at Baylor before leaving for LSU two years ago.
And the men's championship will be decided tonight as the five-seed San Diego State Aztecs take on the team that ended Gonzaga's season, the four-seed Connecticut Huskies. It's an unlikely matchup picked by just 0.04% of brackets in the ESPN Men's Tournament Challenge. The Huskies have been here before, going for their fifth championship tonight, while the Aztecs have advanced past the Sweet 16 for the first time in program history. The game tips off tonight at 6 20. All right, after winning on opening day, it's been all downhill for the Mariners. Cal Raleigh smokes one to first. Josh Bell can't handle it. A Eugenio Suarez scores, giving the M's a 5-4 to four lead. The Guardians would tie it in the seventh, though. Cleveland then loads the bases in the tenth, and with one out, they get the out at home. But Raleigh's throw to first gets away, scoring the winning run for Cleveland. The M's lose 6-5, to five, dropping three out of four in the series. Not great for all those fans who headed out to T-Mobile Park to enjoy yeah. opening day yeah. weekend. Seattle though, will host the Angels tonight. Try to get back in the wind column. All right, Good Morning Northwest time is now 626. Time for a break and your first look at what's coming up on Good Morning America starting at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, breaking their silence. Tough not have here. It's too nice to get up and watch the sunrise and drink our coffee and Cry in your coffee. The yellow and white tulips bearing the name Ethan Smile, meeting the sun for the first time. It's just turned into something so special, something tangible that represents him now. Nearly five months ago, the 20-year-old was murdered, along with his girlfriend, Zana Kernodal, and her roommates, Kaylee Gonzalez and Madison Mogan, in that off-campus home at the University of Idaho. Here at Tulip Valley Farms, Ethan worked in the fields planting bulbs, and now he's being remembered with his own. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have much more on this powerful interview with the parents of University of Idaho victim Ethan Chapin. With your GMA First Look, I'm Kana Whitworth, ABC News, Los Angeles. Martial arts is my passion. I work out whenever I can. But with my moderate to severe eczema, it can be tough. My skin was so uncomfortable. The itching was so bad. Now I'm staying ahead of my eczema. There's a power inside all of us to live our passion. And DuPixent works on the inside to help heal your skin from within. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema so adults can have long-lasting, clearer skin and fast itch relief. Serious allergic reactions can occur that can be severe. Tell your doctor about new or worsening eye problems such as eye pain or vision changes, including blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma medicines without talking to your doctor. Healing from within is a powerful thing. Ask your eczema specialist how Dupixent can help heal your skin from within. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Unleashed Academy. My grandfather, Doug Parker, started Parker almost 40 years ago. Just a real small dealership with about 30 employees. The people at Parker that make this place unique are hardworking, they know their jobs, and they're driven. We have a lot of employees that have been here a long time, and I think that just ties into everything. Our culture, how we treat employees, we're always trying to become better people, become a better business, better community partner. It's our job to provide the best experience for every single person that walks in that door. From the 5 a.m. morning regulars, to those gotta fit it in lunchtime rush business goers, to the fizzy moms that need childcare so they can just have a little time to themselves, Move Fitness is here for you. Serving up the largest variety of workout options in Spokane, with a new location opening soon to provide you the best results for your workout needs. Move Fitness. Join the movement. Rising over 6,000 feet above the Montana-Idaho border is Eagle Peak. The mountain-sized new addition to Lookout Pass. Ski over 500 new acres, down 14 new advanced and intermediate runs, then go back up on our second quad lift. All covered in our legendary Lookout Pass powder. So get to Lookout and ski the, the Eagle. Eagle. Buy a 23-24 season pass and ski free the rest of this season.
from 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. All right, we're taking a look at some of the big stories online in the 4 News Now Story Tracker. In just hours, former President Trump expected to arrive in New York a day ahead of his historic arraignment. Donald Trump becoming the first president, current or former, to face criminal charges. He's due to surrender at Manhattan Criminal Court tomorrow. Sources tell ABC Trump is facing about two dozen charges, including felonies. We won't know yet what those are until the indictment is unsealed. The prosecutors had been investigating how Trump accounted for hush money payments to Stormy Daniels weeks before the 2016 election. This Spokane County Interstate Fair has a new mascot, and boy, is it cute. It's a baby cow named Cedar. Cedar was born January 25th and lives at Dalkenna Highlands near the Ponderay River. You can find this story on KXY.com to take a look at Cedar's journey so far. The Interstate Fair is scheduled to return September 8th through the 17th. So Cedar's going to be a lot more grown up by the oh, time yeah. the fair rolls around in the fall. All right, good morning, Northwest. I'm Derek Dice. And I'm Robin Nancy. It is a Monday, April 3rd. Mark is here with our first alert forecast, and we're talking snow. Yeah, snow south of town right now, downtown, with some light snow earlier today that stopped low cloud deck and some fog that's going to be firing up in places. Right now, we're sitting at 31 degrees. Again, we do have a weather alert day for light snow in the Palouse and South Spokane County into Whitman County and it's going to be for this morning and then we're going to see that all push off um, again 27 degrees into Coeur d'Alene right now looking pretty good roads are in great shape we're sitting at 31 here are the four things you need to know and the fact that we're going to have that morning light snow we've seen it all over the place but sticking south of town afternoon rain showers possible warming up uh, this week and temps in the 60s as we get into next weekend that forecast radar showing this thing moving out of the area Really looking pretty good for midday and then afternoon showers firing up and that's going to trigger again those rain showers that we could be seeing. Here's a look at the next 12 hours. Uh, we are going to warm up. We're going to be in the low 40s all afternoon long. 3, 4 o'clock, we should hit that high today of 47 degrees. All right, Mark, thank you so much. As a day, the Idaho mother charged with killing two of her children goes to trial. Lori Vallow was allegedly part of a doomsday religious cult and believes some members of her family had dark spirits. Sydney Charles is live at the Breaking Now desk with the latest details in this case. Yes, this morning in Boise, jury selection begins in the trial that will determine if Lori Vallow Daybell killed 7-year-old JJ and 17-year-old Ty Lee. A separate trial will be held for her husband, Chad Daybell, also accused in their murders. They're also both charged in the death of Daybell's late wife. What we can expect to see, at least from the defense, is some sort of effort to make Lori Avalo Daybell look like she's insane, that she's suffering from delusions, she's suffering from mental illness, and that she didn't know what she was doing. The grandparents of Vallow's children reported them missing in 2019 after Vallow privately married Daybell in Hawaii and joined his religious group. In divorce papers, Vallow's ex-husband said Lori believed she was a godlike figure who called the children zombies and said she was sent to usher in the apocalypse. After nine months of searching, the children were found in a shallow grave on Chad Daybell's property. While pleading not guilty, Vallow's defense team has insisted that she has an alibi. The trial could take up to three months. A judge recently took the death penalty off the table for Vallow in this case, but she also faces charges in Arizona in connection to the death of her ex-husband, Charles Vallow. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Well, Idaho Governor Brad Little signed multiple bills in a law that will impact your child's education, with one of them meant to improve communication with schools by establishing a parental bill of rights. This means schools will now be required to notify parents about the health services made available by the school or private organization at the start of each school year, including health and wellness services. Parents must also give consent before the school gives their child any health screenings or well-being questionnaires. Schools will also be required to notify parents if their child had been questioned by a police or school resource officer unless the child is a victim or a suspected victim of physical abuse. A little also signed a bill that will require high schools to have financial literacy classes. Students will learn the basics of real world personal finance and how to make sound financial decisions. The law comes, uh, makes this class a requirement also for graduation.
Also in Idaho, a bill that would restrict children's access to, quote, harmful materials in libraries and schools is on Governor Little's desk. If signed, libraries across Idaho could be sued. And the materials listed as harmful include nudity, sexual conduct, and anything related to the LGBTQ community. Libraries in Idaho, like the Post Falls Library, could face civil action if Governor Little signs this bill in the law. The bill, which is known as the Children's School and Library Protection Act, says schools and libraries can be sued for $2,500 if any employees show any of these harmful materials to minors. The Post Falls Library already allows members of the community to ask for books to be moved from the children's section to the adult section, but this law could cost the library thousands of dollars. I mean, this law would open us up to risk. Um, there is the possibility of a civil fine of up to $2,500 per book, and libraries are public institutions. We want to be good stewards with our money, and we don't want to be spending this on civil litigation. The library director says she and her staff are already stressed out, and this new risk just adds to that. Today, NASA will announce the next group of astronauts who will travel to the moon next year. This mission comes after a successful Artemis 1 test mission that sent the Orion capsule around the moon and back. NASA is preparing for Artemis 2, which will take four astronauts, uh, astronauts around the moon for the first time since the end of the Apollo program 51 years ago. While we don't know who will be chosen quite yet, decorated astronaut Victor Glover is a fan favorite. Well, you know, I'm excited that it's just a reality that we're going to send people to the moon, whether it's myself or one of my good friends. Whatever aspect of that mission I get to be a part of, I'm just happy that we are doing it. I get to be a part of the we no matter where I'm sitting. And NASA will announce the crew at 8 o'clock this morning. Okay, can't wait to see who's on that list. Good morning, Northwest time is now just about 6.37. Mark is back talking about some visibility issues. Yeah, we got some. Up into Colville, again, very limited visibility. We've got a little bit of light fog out into the West Plains, but uh, it's snow that they're dealing with south of I-90 mm -hmm. into areas of the Palouse. In fact, we take a look uh, outside of Spangle. You've got quite a bit of snow on the ground. Roads are okay, but still winter driving in some areas. We want you to take it easy, but yeah. The snow continues to fall down there. For news now on your time with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. No one, no one does truck month like Wendell Ford, where our trucks are built Ford Tough. F-150, Super Duty, Ranger. Some with bonus cash and interest rates as low as 0%. The best Ford trucks go fast. Wendell at the Y on North Division. Join us for jackpots, food, and fun at Chawila Casino. The mo you play, the mo entries you can earn in our mo money prize drawing. Totaling over $18,000 in prizes and cash. That's right, two nights of grand prize drawings, April 15th and April 29th, starting at 6 p.m. Sun Club players could win grand prize bundles, including a riding lawnmower, leaf blower, weed whacker, and a self-propelled lawnmower. Learn more at ChewyLaCasino.com. At BEC, we have some truly unique programs that we offer our members. One of my favorite programs, our annual reprice program. The way that that works is you buy a car, and over the course of the next year or two, you slowly are working on building your credit. Each year, BEC automatically reevaluates all of our auto loans, boat loans, RV loans, and if we see that you've been making timely payments, we just automatically will reduce your rates. We always say at BEC that our members don't just bank, they belong. Does your current roof have moss growing on it? Is it worn out or tattered? Have you recently seen the heat and electric bills going up? Then it may be time for you to get a new roof from McVeigh Brothers. McVeigh Brothers is the only five-star certified select shingle master contractor in the Inland Northwest. We also have great financing options to help you out, like no money down and up to 12 years low interest financing. So you can get everything you want now and pay for it later. At McVeigh Brothers, we're always working for you. This is it. The RV sales event of the year is happening now at Click It RV in Spokane. During the I Want to Get Away sales event, get a trip to Vegas on us. Choose from the best brands, Coachman, Winnebago, Thor, and more. Payments just $175 per month. Zero down, zero payments until June, and $4,000 over JD Power for your trade-in. Don't let these deals get away. Six days only. March 23rd through the 28th, the I Want to Get Away event at Click It RV in Spokane. Hurry in today. 
No one, no one does truck month like Wendell Ford, where our trucks are built Ford tough. F-150, Super Duty, Ranger. Some with bonus cash and interest rates as low as 0%. The best Ford trucks go fast. Wendell at the Y on North Division. It's now 640. Four News Now and STCU are honoring volunteers who make a difference with their time and efforts for local nonprofit organizations in our area. And today, we are proud to announce that Mike Kohler has been awarded a $1,000 grant to help with his volunteering efforts. With his daughter, Mike co-founded Atlas Assistance Dogs and plays a critical role in helping to secure ongoing funding for this important program. Really great to see people, people with disabilities feeling empowered by doing this. For seven years, this father-daughter team has been instrumental in providing training services for assistance dogs for people with disabilities. A big thanks to Mike for his volunteering efforts and to STCU for making sure volunteers count. Here's your Monday morning 10 second takeaway. Uh, morning flurries are seeing very light flurries in and around I-90 at South. As you head into the Palouse, yeah, heavier winter weather there. So your winter gear today, 47 are high. In San Francisco this weekend, city and religious leaders gathered at Mount Davidson Cross to host its 100th year anniversary celebration, which included opening up a time capsule buried 90 years ago by a Boy Scout troop. Inside, they found old photos, Bibles, telephone directories, newspapers, Mount Davidson groundbreaking soil, and lots more. Now, a new time capsule was buried in that same spot that's to be opened up in another 100 years. And today's free cone day at Ben & Jerry's. You can go to any Ben & Jerry's location and get a free scoop. I'll be at, at the downtown location from noon to one. Robin will be at Northern Quest at the same time. So stop by and say hi. You're encouraged, of course, to make a donation even though the cones are free. Mm -hmm. This year's charity is Maddie's Place, which houses and treats drug-addicted newborns and works to create lasting bonds between them and their mothers. A great new organization. Yeah, so please donate if you can. Yeah, and it's just fun and delicious. And it's ice cream. <laughs> it's now 642. All right, Mark Peterson has your full forecast. Coming up right after the break, how long might this snow stick around? Mm. Find out next. Download the 4 News Now app today. Bloom's Day 2023 is Sunday, May 7th. Sign up today. Love your home from the inside and out with new windows from Infinity from Marvin. Ultrax fiberglass is eight times stronger than vinyl and virtually maintenance-free. Infinity's energy-efficient windows and doors are built for life and backed by our limited lifetime warranty. Give your home the fresh new look it deserves and find out why more people are choosing fiberglass. Call 892-6460 or go to residentialhs.com today to schedule your free design consultation and estimate. Residential Home Solutions and Infinity Windows. Home improvements. Custom fit for life. Get pampered, relax, invigorate, and rejuvenate. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa's new North Spokane location is a full-service salon that specializes in achieving this every day. Guests enjoy a complimentary drink with all services, including hair, nails, spa, microblading, full bridal, and more. Our 10,000-square-foot spa, one of the largest in the Northwest, accommodates large groups, and walk-ins are welcome, too. Seven Wonders Nail, Hair, and Spa, a luxury experience accommodating everyone. The combination of fun and performance is why Kylie and I are excited to show you the Subaru Crosstrek. The all-wheel drive Crosstrek offers an available 2.5-liter Subaru Boxer engine, giving you extra performance and power unlike anything on or off the road. There's no shortage of space for passengers and a surprising amount of cargo room for your gear. The Crosstrek has an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay, connecting you with your favorite apps and navigation. Check out the Subaru Crosstrek and receive no-problem customer attention at Parker Subaru in beautiful Coeur d'Alene. Four News Now welcomes Kirsten O'Connor. Over the last few years, people expect more. They expect more from their news. That promise, that expect more promise, means that we are going to deliver. You're scrolling or you're checking a feed. We need to be there. We're going to be there. We are going to be ahead and we are going to listen and we are going to deliver. That's what we mean when we say expect more. Bloomsday 
2023 is Sunday, May 7th. Sign up today. 4 News Now is brought to you by Shriners Children's Spokane. The most amazing care anywhere. It's now approaching 645. On a visit to the doctor or the dentist, you can now leave that mask at home. Starting today, masking up is no longer required in places like healthcare settings, long-term care facilities, and adult correctional facilities in Washington. Our Desi and Richards is in the studio now with what the end of the mask order means for our region. The Spokane Regional Health District supports the State Secretary of Health's decision, saying we should expect COVID-19 guidance to evolve as the virus does. And because COVID transmission is low and cases have dropped for other respiratory illnesses like the flu and RSV, Spokane Health Officer Dr. Francisco Velazquez says it makes sense to end the mask requirement. This also means local health providers can now make their own decisions about masking protocol. Providence released its updated policies just last week that will take effect today. They take care of a lot of patients that are at a higher risk because of either disease or treatment. They also have large volumes of patients, so it is important for us to also protect our providers because uh, healthcare capacity is one has been and continues to be one of the concerns. And here's a look at Providence's new policies for its hospitals and clinics. For Providence hospitals, masking is still highly recommended in a patient's room during interactions with caregivers and waiting areas. And you're asked to not come to the hospital as a visitor if you're showing symptoms of COVID-19 or other respiratory illnesses. For Providence clinics, masking is recommended for patients and visitors, but required if the patient is showing symptoms of COVID-19, other respiratory illnesses, or after 10 days of testing testing positive for COVID. And Providence says it may bring back required masking at its facilities if high levels of respiratory viruses are detected in the community. For more information about the new masking update, you can see this story on KXLY.com. In studio, I'm Destiny Richards for News Now. All right, Destiny, thank you so much. Oh, okay, oh boy, here we you go. are taking another live look mm. at the snow out there this morning. Yeah. Definitely sticking, especially south of the city. That's for sure, but it won't stick around that much longer, right? We're warming up a little bit today. We're going to warm up, uh, but those temperatures, certainly the side roads could have that snow sticking to us, certainly gravel roads, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> you just got to take it easy. Um, here's what we have in other areas. I-90 Geiger Boulevard, you can see some of that thin fall and some limited visibility there. None of it is uh, really heavy. And then the wet roads along 195 to Hatch. You get past Hatch, you're heading into Spangle, you're going to find that snow. So we want you to take it easy. That brings me to our weather alert day for that area of the Palouse south of Spokane into Whitman County. <clears throat> it's going to be light snow this morning, and then it's going to taper off, warm up, and melt off. 47 degrees will be our high today. Spokane, uh, Coeur d'Alene Corridor along the valley you'll have temperatures potentially in the low 50s but it's going to be afternoon rain showers expected overnight winds going to be relatively light we're going to have 28 degrees so some frost tomorrow morning certainly is possible with this moisture that's been put in today right now Spokane 31 27 into Coeur d'Alene Sandpoint you're right there um, heading over into Ritzville 33 Pullman 29 degrees and snow yeah, uh, sorry guys. Uh, taking a look at the satellite radar. Back through the Tri-Cities, started with rain showers, could see some rain snow mixed. Uh, we're seeing a little bit of light snow into the Cascades, but if you're crossing over Snoqualmie Pass, right now things are looking pretty good. And in fact, even the Lookout Pass is looking pretty good this morning as you cross over. But we'll see this snow maybe make its way up to the Lookout Pass area later on this afternoon. So we take a look at that forecast radar. Uh, let me get back to this. All right, so this is going to come south. South, but it's counterclockwise rotation, so it's going to pull it back up and around, really stalling out into the mountains with rain showers potential for our area. That's going to be this afternoon, 2, 3 o'clock. When we look at the amounts that we can expect, it really is going to be mountains. Um, Pullman, 1 to 2 inches of snow. We're going to see that continue. Kellogg, you're going to hit 1 to 2 inches of snow. Could be more at Lookout if it continues to make its way north, but certainly some light snow there. Our highs here are going to be in the upper 40s um, throughout the valley, looking pretty good. Uh, Deer Park at 48, 46 into Coeur d'Alene, Liberty Lake, 47 degrees. Everything is very consistent. We look at the planning forecast and consistent again tomorrow with 46 degrees, cloudy conditions. Mostly sunny on Wednesday and 49 degrees, so that'll offset the 49. 
Now we're at 56 on Friday after getting rain showers on Thursday. Scattered showers Friday, Saturday, but warming up into the low 60s for Saturday and Easter Sunday. Yes. Hey. Yes. Much different like, uh -huh. toward the start of the week and the beginning of the week. It's going to be a nice weekend, I think. All right. It's Monday. It's hang nice on to the hope. It is now just about 10 minutes before the hour. Your morning sprint's coming up next. Thanks so much for waking up with Good Morning Northwest on this Monday morning. We'll be right back. Stream 4 News Now on your TV for free with the KXLY Plus app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Foothills Mazda. Living in the Inland Northwest has its advantages, and one of those is working with amazing people who dedicate their time and efforts to help others. STCU's Volunteers Count is a program to say thank you for this service and inspire others to give back too. Please tell us about a volunteer at a local nonprofit that inspires you. Go to kxly.com slash volunteers count and nominate them. Help us showcase those people who give of their time and truly make a difference. Volunteers Count brought to you by 4 News Now and STCU. This is about more than just tractors. These are people's lives we're talking about here. When I'm on my Kubota, everything goes away. It's my therapy. Okay, guys, we need to get this part ordered for Rick's tractor immediately. Heck, they don't treat people as customers. They treat people like family. I'm Mark Peterson with the 4 News Now Extreme Team. Are you planning a home or a building remodel or repair project? Asbestos fibers may be present in roofing, insulation, flooring, ceiling textures, siding, and many other products. Whether you're a do-it-yourselfer or hiring a contractor, all parties are responsible for following the requirements. Prior to work, a survey must be done to see if asbestos is present. If it is, it must be left alone or properly removed and disposed of. Contact Spokane Clean Air for more information. Sometimes you're so busy taking care of everyone else, you don't do enough for yourself or your mouth. But eventually it will remind you. When it does, Aspen Dental is here for you. We offer the custom dental treatments you need all under one roof right nearby. So we can bring more life to your smile and more smile to your life affordably. New patients without insurance can get a free complete exam and x-rays and 20% off treatment plans. Aspen Dental, anything to make you smile. Schedule your appointment today. When you're looking to upgrade the look and energy efficiency of your home, no one does a better job at a better price than McVeigh Brothers Roofing, Siding, and Windows. For over 65 years, McVeigh Brothers has been on the cutting edge of the newest technologically advanced products sold. We're now offering triple pane windows, custom colored windows of your choice, and amazing mini blinds between the glass that will last a lifetime. At McVeigh Brothers, we're working for you. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. Just about 6.53. Let's get you ready for your Monday and your start of the week here in the Morning Sprint. Masking no longer required in healthcare settings in Washington. Destiny Richards is in studio with the story. But first, let's get to Mark Peterson talking about that snow that's fallen this morning. No doubt about it. We see the uh, active snow that's falling. It's getting lighter, but we see that from Spangle all the way into the Palouse. Uh, right now, current conditions, we're hovering around freezing, either a little below or a little above, but we want you to take it easy today. You could see some frost, certainly some snow on the windshields. Uh, forecast radar, this is all going to be moving out. We're going to see things improve for the afternoon. Over the next 12 hours, temperatures into the low to mid 40s, but that high today of 47 degrees. A woman was killed when she was hit and dragged by a car at a Safeway at, in Liberty Lake. Liberty Lake police investigating the crash but say they do not know if drugs or alcohol played a factor. Investigators say it does not appear the driver was speeding. We'll continue updating you as we learn more. The Cooney County Sheriff's Office has not yet released the name of the person who died in a crash in Post Falls Saturday night. It happened right off of I-90 near Greens Ferry Road. Sheriff's Office says the crash happened while Idaho State Police were chasing a stolen vehicle. One person inside of that car died at the scene while another was taken to the hospital. This is a developing story and we'll update you as we learn more. 
And today, the Idaho mother charged with killing two of her children goes on trial. In Boise, jury selection begins in the trial that will determine if Lori Vallow Daybell killed 7-year-old JJ and 17-year-old Ty Lee. A separate trial will be held for her husband, Chad Daybell, also accused in their murders. They're also both charged in the death of Daybell's late wife. The grandparents of Vallow's children reported them missing in 2019 after Vallow privately married Daybell in Hawaii and joined his religious group. After nine months of searching, the children were found in a shallow grave on Chad Daybell's property. While pleading not guilty, Vallow's defense team has insisted she has an alibi. In just hours from now, former President Donald Trump is expected to arrive in New York one day ahead of his historic arraignment. Trump is the first former president to face criminal charges. He's due to surrender at Manhattan Criminal Court tomorrow. Courses tell ABC Trump is facing around two dozen charges, including felonies. Idaho Governor Brad Little signed multiple bills into law that will impact your child's education with one of them meant to improve communication with schools by establishing a parental bill of rights. That means schools will now be required to notify parents about the health services made available by the school or private organization at the start of each school year, including health and wellness services. Parents must also give consent before the school gives their child any health screenings or well-being questionnaires. Schools will also be required to notify parents if their child has been questioned by a police or school resource officer, unless the child is a victim or suspected victim of physical abuse. Little also signed a bill that will require high schools to have financial literacy classes. Students will learn the basics of real-world personal finance and how to make sound financial decisions. The law makes this class a requirement for graduation. Also in Idaho, a bill that would restrict children's access to, quote, harmful materials in libraries and schools is on Governor Little's desk. The materials listed as harmful include nudity, sexual conduct, and anything related to the LGBTQ community. Libraries in Idaho, like the Post Falls Library, could face civil action if Governor Little signs this bill into law. This bill, known as the Children's School and Library Protection Act, says schools and libraries can be sued for $2,500 uh, $2, if any employee shows any of these harmful materials to minors. On a trip to the doctor or dentist, you can now leave your mask at home. Starting today, masking up is no longer required in healthcare settings, long-term care facilities, and adult correctional facilities in Washington. I spoke with Spokane Regional Health Officer Dr. Francisco Velasquez about this change. He says the mask order ending just means we're at a new stage in the pandemic where universal mask order is no longer needed. Health providers can now make that decision for individuals or collectively if they're part of a healthcare system. Overall, he says COVID transmission is low, flu and RSV case rates have dropped, and we've made progress in containing the viruses. For more information on the mask order lifting and Providence's new masking policies in our region, see this story on KXLY.com. This is filed a request to raise rates. If it's approved by the Washington Utilities and Transportation Commission, the average household would see that monthly bill go up by around $5.60. And coming up next on Good Morning America, ABC's Kana Whit Whitworth uh, talked with Ethan Chapin's parents. Ethan was one of the four University of Idaho students killed in a Moscow home in November. Ethan's parents spoke with Kana about how their family's doing nearly five months after. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. If your checking account isn't earning you money, it's time to switch to bonus checking from Numerica. The account that earns an incredible 2% annual percentage yield, that could earn you up to $500 every year or more. Kelly here at Cobbville Toyota with the pups, cruising in this new Toyota Highlander. We've met many new neighbors and come to love this beautiful region. Our hometown friendly restaurants, scenic rivers, Cobbville, Kettle and Columbia. Confederated County Museum, the golf course, hiking around Colville Mountain, a leisurely picnic at one of our parks, or just a beautiful scenic drive. Our region has plenty to offer, and so does Colville Toyota. Your small town dealership with a big heart. ABC's World News Tonight and 4 News Now. When the local story is national news. When national stories hit home. Watch ABC World News Tonight at 530. And 4 News Now at 6. That's what we mean when we say expect more. 
Just a skosh before 7 o'clock. Just a skosh over 2 inches of snow. Maybe 3. Depending on where you go. Winter driving conditions. Again, this is outside of Spangle. As you head in towards uh, Pullman, you are going to find winter driving conditions. And, and again, anywhere from 2 to 4 inches of snow. Uh, certainly as you climb in elevation. So take it easy. That's where, uh, again, our weather alert day is. South of I-90. And that snow is going to taper off by mid morning and then things should start to melt off 47 for the high today tomorrow 46 and then we warm up I draw your attention to Saturday and Sunday with low 60s yeah. 60s by the weekend we can get through this yay we'll see you throughout good morning America it starts right now